Hey guys, we are back with another video, and today we're going to show you uh, what my dad got from. This way you come in. Amazon. Amazon. Uh, let's tell you about. Let's tell you about it first. So basically, um, uh, so we haven't got really like stuff to clean our boots very well. You only use like hot water and stuff. And one of these. Boot pod. But it was not like it's not like actual like shoe shoe like cleaning stuff. Cleaning stuff. So we got like some other things. Solid. So this boot buddy, um, you buy it quite good for general cleaning. We'll fill that with water in there, put lid on this bit here, scrapes um scrapes mud off from the sole. Usually on any boots, not just football boots, and you open this bit and just squeeze it, water comes out and you clean it. So I've only ever used that for the boots and what I've found and I'll show you an example is like here. This is your brother's very nice um Adidas speed flow. Adidas like speed flows. Done for a while, but um, you can see here I've cleaned them with the water really thoroughly, and you still got mud, mud stain. Like, stain on them. Um, he's been playing wear, so it didn't get very really muddy here, but even when I clean them like up here, it's still got a stain and on them. Yeah, just inside. different different areas. Yeah, inside, Almost. but I think that may have been from the playing. Right. So, but we've got to clean them up, obviously. So, um, you normally this yeah. on it and scrape these bits off. That works pretty good, but um, we got some other stuff. And one thing that um, really beneficial uh, channel channel um, Unispot to go through to look after boots, and they went through this bit. Uh, they recommended this product, so we got them these products. So um, this is um, uh, the wash. Wash is Jason Mark. I googled it when I saw um, essential kit includes um, four. Added premium deep clean solution, standard cleaning brush. So it's standard cleaning brush. So we're going to open this up. Yeah. And have it up. We do not recommend cleaning unsealed painted leather. Use extra care when cleaning dyed suede and let the cuts like to bleed. For any contact with water, station mark premium cleaning brush is recommended for cleaning delicate materials such as premium leather suede, cotton mesh. Um, it just that's, can cause a skin reaction, so just don't use it. Um, so we bought this from uh, Amazon. So it's like so it's like you open it. No, no, it's just because it's a, it's a, it's not like soap you use for your hands. It's like any chemical. Because when you go and wash them, when you wash oh, them, it's not a bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. When you wash the bathroom, you don't use that gloves. Do you? Gonna, so the brush. Ooh, that's nice. It's like a. Oh my, oh, it's flipping things. Yeah. So it's like a. Um, no, but I have you listen. Would you say that's fairly hard, isn't it? Yeah. You do it in your skin, not hurt, but it's a bit hard in your skin. So this is the brush you get with it. So this would probably work well on the sole plate on the bottom. What do you think? And it said you could do another thing, so we could use it for all of them. Um, and this, uh, this is the soap. So what it's saying is, uh, irritation to effectively eyes. cleans, conditions, removes dirt and the stains that. In every occur during wear, so it just told you how to do it. Direction to put it directly on. So it's showing you here. If you hold it that way, it's going to get a bit bigger. So you've got pictures show you just put a bit, but like the other brush, and then you clean the boots, um, and then you wipe them clean. It contains water and some other stuff. So clean. Uh, tell you what do you get in your eyes. So that's it basically. This is the. Not a lot. I don't think you need to use a lot, and I wouldn't suggest using a lot because you just waste your money if you use too much, and it's just you know premium shoe cleaner. So this is what they recommended. Um, they might because obviously they talk about some of these boots like this one. Um, your brother got he went halves with me, and I contributed hundred pounds. He contributed less hundred thirty, I think. I contributed, and then he contributed mainly hundred because I think they're two hundred thirty pounds. So very expensive football probably the most expensive football boots he's ever had but he contributed to it which I rated for he's got a Carbitex sole plate carbon fibre so it gives good flat um, I wouldn't even and, like and, these and, and they're like beautiful they're, they're like they like mould to your feet so you don't want to use anything that could damage the surface mm. so use something that you know is used for you can use for um, you know leather and stuff and other materials that probably a bit more 
more like get damaged than this material. So you don't want to clean them up, look them good, make them look good. It's always nice to wear them when they're good and nice. Um, so that's what we're going to do. The other thing we've got is um, different brushes. Yeah. Different brushes. So we've got a pack of different brushes. We just said generic Amazon stuff. So do you want to open that as well, Sam? Yeah. Open it just to see it's open. Can you is it working? Do you want to try the other side? Please. Oh, is that okay? <laughs> Let's see that. So we've Ooh, got a select, selection of brushes. Look at that. Get them all out. Eee, what's that smell? Right, there's a bit of a smell. Um, oh, that's a lot softer. Eee, it's not. Oh, it's not. Not that it? bad. Not that bad. Come it on, is. stop making the big hoo ha. It is. Look at the hoo ha. It now. smells like ink. So, look, guys, we're in it. Oh, no, too much. We've got different brushes. Do different brushes. Uh, two big, biggish brushes, two smaller brushes for more size. Nice. So, uh, which is softer? This is. This is softer, Phil. Yes, it. Mm. Yeah, so this is fair. So it's medium kind of texture. It's really soft, and this is again. Do you want it to be hard then? Um, medium soft. No, because you can work through different different levels. If you need to. So we're talking about this one. Oh, this I'd probably hard. say this one. <laughs> would use this first. Yeah, sole plate. The sole plate, yeah? So that's quite very hard. So this would go um the sole plate and just generally going over because it's only causing uh, this will hassle go your boots. on top of no. This will go like round the sock that kind of very sock bits, yeah, if you've got sock ones, you know, sock boots, silly sock boots. And then you can use this one here for, for doing the um you can use this one for the top um for uh, for the um not sole plate, the uh, the top the front the, bit. The um the front bit. The upper. The upper okay. of the boot, yeah. So you can use this and this, for example. And then last stage, if you want to do like maybe the the cloth material that comes with some sock line, or like the cloth here, you could use this one. So we're gonna try them out. I've got a selection because I thought I'd see what they like. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I don't need Does all of these work on because boots? maybe I just use, you know. I'll maybe just use a small one and this one. Does I don't know if see. It doesn't only work on football boots. We've got but any shoes, trainers and everything. Um, one last thing we've got, because a few of the boots, your boots, um, here one, this one here, is the um, um, uh, Puma ones. And they're quite Puma, nice. The Puma ones. Puma ones. Puma one ones. The Puma one ones. So... These are the ones. You've had them for ages. Um, you can adjust the fit. Um, how do you fight rate these? Comfort wise, yeah, really good. Ten. Huh? Ten. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Um, they're muddy because you Actually, played. The most comfortable ones are the yellow ones. The okay. Yellow ones. So you've. They're ten. The um, oh, that's X's. The old X's. No. Yellow ones. The most yellow. comfortable. I said the yellow ones. Are the most comfortable, yeah. So. No, not those ones. The Puma what? yellow ones. Oh, the Puma yellows, the, the upper's they a bit were, weird. They were nicer. The upper's a bit weird. Mm -hmm. We've still got... So, he's been playing on grass training. Because you've got to play AstroTurf for matches, but you're playing grass training because it's summertime. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And you're playing on grass because the coach won't pay for uh, AstroTurf pitch, apparently. That's what the owner of the club said. The coach won't pay for it. They don't want to pay for... Nobody. You don't want to pay for AstroTurf pitch. And why are you paying for a hump? Yeah, well, anyway, that's another story. But anyway, um, so I need to clean this up. So I'm going to go, I'd go with this on the bottom. And then uh, the leather bit, I'd probably go for a softish one, the softer one, this one. Yeah. The soft top one, yeah? Yeah. For the leather bit. And then the side plasticky bits, these plasticky bits, because plasticky. Like different I'd, levels, do they? I'd go on, I'd go for this one. I'd go for this one. This one. So, um. What I'd do, probably walk, wash it all off with water first with this, mm -hmm. and then once it's clean, give it a really good clean, just to make it look really nice. This, is, nice. this is softer than this. Yeah, the, the fair one's softer. So it's, we agreed that, didn't we? This one's softer oh, right, yeah. than this one, and this is rough. So we've got, we've got hard, medium, and soft. Yeah? Put your finger down here, like it scrapes it. Doesn't it feel like there's like some like, kind of oil thing? Yeah, it's something like oily. Thing, I don't know. Yeah, it does feel a bit kind of oily, yeah. And one last thing we've got is um, mink oil. What is oil? It's all basically, um, it says here, 
Clean protects waterproofs and softened leather. It may also be used with oil tanned leather and smooth leather. Keep away from children. <laughs> so you just apply it up because he's not moving. Jay Mark was saying he's got leather boots and once a, once in a while just apply it here just to protect the leather. Um, and you've got your boots that are full leather. These are fully leather, aren't they? Not the back bit, probably. Oh, that's probably not true. That's not probably proper leather, is it? I don't think that's proper leather. But Isn't it like oh no. the front bit here is leather on your. Um, Tiempos and these are pros, they're very good boots because they have the uh, AG sole plate. Uh, but the only boots you can get in your size with the AG sole plate that isn't too expensive because they're not hugely popular full leather boots, are they? <laughs> so you can get the um, you can get the Phantom GTs, which are the same sole plate, but they're much more pricey because they're much more popular because they're not a leather upper, they're a artificial upper. Yeah. Yeah. Some kind of I don't know flying it something I don't know what it is, but anyway, so you can apply this, this stuff. Yeah, the leather thingy. The the kind of oil, oil or whatever it is a balm to this, um, and then it will just make it softer and protect it, and make it more Less waterproof. Le no, it won't make it crinkly because okay. that's just what happened. No play. So it's really super super soft, really soft. Is that how comfortable are these? Really. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to make another video because we want to bore anyone to death by doing another video clean them. But we're going to do a video, um, probably do it now, um, to clean them, to show you how we clean them. And then we'll probably record it now and probably put them up together. Yeah. So if you watch one, you can watch both of them, you can. If you don't want to watch a big long video, you don't have to. Yeah, so what do you reckon? Um, was it worth? Are we gonna, we're going to test them out, but they look like quality stuff. Looks like quality stuff, this and this. Uh, we can keep it all together, just clean the boots. Um, some people want to clean the boots. It's important to look after because some of the boots are expensive. Like these would be £230 with big, big money. These were about £100. These were about probably about 30 40 Still money you know, to look after it's, them. They're nice boots, you know. Yeah, they're nice, but they're all nice boots. And then you've got your brother's ones here that are dear. There's another thing, you know, probably the smaller brush, that's what I was trying to get to. These smaller brushes, th these will get in all the nooks and crannies to clean hair better. And, this one. Uh, and with this one, so, you know, this and this to clean this, because this kind of tread is not easy to get the stuff out of. So this your brother's one to use in the garden, so it'd be nice to clean them up anyway, though we're not that bothered about how clean the, they look. The, what's it called? Uh, the scraper is good. Huh? The scraper, the mini one. Oh, the other thing, the boot claw. So I haven't got it, I normally get it in the park because I've got a little bag I keep stuff in. And I had this thing as well. So this was the one I was using to protect your leather boots with. But um, I must admit, it went a bit runny and funny. Went a bit runny and funny. Wait, the one that you used on his one, uh, the one that he used for Duke of Edinburgh. Duke of Edinburgh, but it went a bit funny. So it's kind of a bit runny and stuff. So I don't know if it's going out of date or whatever. Oh, runny and funny. Runny and funny. Money not funny. So, and I have also in this bag that goes with a boot buddy one of this one, which is a bit, bit more precise. But this has got a really, it's like metal wire bit. I'm not using that on anything. Let's see. The, feel it? Metal oh, wires in the middle. Yeah. Um, and then you've got these bits of much. I've not so really rubber. used it. Yeah, some bits of rubber. So I've not really used from Clark's this. I've not really used it, but I had it in the bag anyway because I just wanted to resealable bag to keep it all and keep it together. Um, yeah, so we're going to try them out and then do a video on that and see what they're yeah. like. We're going to do a video, but we'll probably do it separately. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So what do, you, what do you think? Do you think we made... Did we go a bit overkill with this one? These uh, packs, yeah. these packs, uh, maybe. No, because I'm just thinking that of general big cup area, I mean, that's more precise. And it's the same bristle kind of firmness. And then, the, um, then these two, we've got precise one. I may just probably... End up just using that. <laughs> we'll see anyway. We'll see. We'll have a go. Anyway, so yeah, should we finish the video then? Yep. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.